So we are back with another foundation review and this one is all over the internet right now. The brand new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I have seen this everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everybody is raving on about this. So I thought let's actually test it on oily skin and let's see just how good it is. So this foundation is inspired by Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Collection and basically that collection is products that blur the skin, perfect the skin and give this this really pretty soft focus kind of glow to the skin but at the same time this also promises to be a long wearing formula so all skin types dry skin oily skin normal skin long wearing transfer resistant sweat resistant but at the same time perfect the skin so I'm really really excited to try this I'm gonna be doing a full in-depth review I'm gonna show you it on my skin close-up we're gonna do wear tests we're gonna do check-in we're gonna find out just how good this formula is and whether or not as an oily skin type it actually lasts on my skin so if you want the lowdown on the brand new from hourglass then please stick around so this is what it looks like when you purchase it I ordered this one off sephora.com it's not yet available in sephora Australia stores I just used a shipping forwarder to get it I use them all of the time I'll a link down below if you were interested you can pretty much buy anything from a US website and get it forwarded over here so packaging she's pretty cute it comes in a little glass bottle it's like a frosted glass you've got a cap at the top and then it is a pump really really pretty packaging I mean our glass packaging always stunning this is the box that it comes in this one is available in 32 different shades and let's have a little looky at the spiel on the website weightless liquid foundation that delivers 16 hour medium buildable coverage with a natural soft glow finish I mean that sounds good right that sounds really good inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection long wearing formula infused with blurring spheres that provide a light diffusing effect minimizing the look of imperfections so it'll give you a smooth, even skin that glows in any light. Fluid texture, easily blendable. Second skin finish, seamless and lit from within. I mean, that just sounds magical, right? <laughs> 32 shades, like I said, and it's quite expensive. 58 USD for this one. I mean, I've spent a fortune on this. I, I pretty much spent more on the shipping than I did on the foundation, but if it's good, <laughs> it'll be worth it. Also got some skincare in this one, white tea extract and vitamin E. So yeah, that's pretty much a lowdown on the formula and what they're promising. Let's see if their promises actually stand up. Now I'm gonna prime half of my face with our matte base primer so that we can try the formula on a mattifying primer and then just on my skin alone just to see the difference. I'm gonna go primer on this side. Oh my gosh, you guys, also this eyeliner. I feel like everybody is going to ask. This is one of our brand new Color Frost pigments that only just launched. So these are iridescent multi-chrome pigments and it's really cool because in the jar, they literally just look like a white shimmery powder but then they completely transform on the skin so these shift between about four and five different colors as you move in different lights and they look entirely different again when applied over a black base so this is the shade marshmallow I'll show you a picture on the screen of what it looks like over a black base but I've just applied it like I've mixed it with a mixing medium and applied it with an eyeliner so quick and easy but I love how it looks I'm so excited that these are finally here such a cool product you can use it on like your cheeks your lips your decolletage mix it in with your foundation like you can use them any way that you want. I'm gonna give this one a little shake and pump it on the back of my hand so we can see the formula. Oh, interesting. It's actually quite a bit thicker than I originally thought. It kind of looks like it's got a cream texture. And for shade reference, I picked it up in shade eight. It looks like it'll be a fairly good match. So going in with one of our perfecting sponges, I'm going to start applying it to the skin. Ooh, that's pretty on the skin. Oh, it does have like a bit of a glow to it. Oh my gosh, my nose is red this morning. I went for a walk outside and it's freaking freezing. It feels like minus a thousand now, I'm telling you. So I'm very easily able to build up coverage. Um, you know, I definitely get like the buildable aspect of this and the shade match looks pretty good as well. I feel like it's canceling darkness and redness and it does look blurring on the skin. Like there's no denying my skin looks really really blurred so that there is one light layer on top of no primer so just my normal skincare I've used this morning it looks really pretty it kind of still feels a little bit tacky on the skin moving over to the other side dipping back into it okay so immediately I can see that I'm getting more coverage applied over a primer I mean that is totally expected because that is what a primer is made to do oh I really like how this is looking on my skin 
It looks pretty. Like I've been reviewing so many foundations lately. Like I feel like every second video has been a foundation review and I am loving it. Honestly, foundations are one of my favorite things to test. That looks beautiful on the skin. I can definitely see what they mean when they talk about it being inspired by the ambient lighting collection. It does leave this really pretty blurred look on the skin with like a really kind of soft glow. It's just beautiful. When it's dried down to more of a satin finish on that side now, like now that it's been sitting on the skin for a little while, it blends beautifully with a sponge. I don't have any clean foundation <laughs> brushes, so we can't test it with a foundation brush. I know I need to get my life together. Should see how many dirty brushes I've got. You would judge me, you would. Absolutely love the coverage. Absolutely love how this is blurring the skin. It looks really, really pretty, honestly. So definitely medium buildable coverage. I feel like it's done a great job at canceling out any discoloration on my skin. And even these breakouts down here, like see these little ones? It's done a really good job of covering that as well. I could definitely build up with another layer, I think, if I wanted more coverage, but I really do think that the amount of coverage that I've got right now is perfect, and it is very, very blurring. I feel, I mean, this side definitely looks like my pores are more minimized on this side than this side, but it's a pore minimizing primer, so, you know, again, you're gonna expect that. It's not matte, like it's definitely not matte, but at the same time, it's not sticky on the skin at all. It honestly looks beautiful. Oh, what do you guys think? I'm obsessed with this. I was expecting it to be a lot stickier and feel a lot heavier on the skin, but it does feel really nice and lightweight. And it's like this really pretty glow. Can you see the glow? That is gorgeous. So first impressions, loving how this is wearing, loving how this is looking. I'll quickly finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll come back and show you. Okay, I've got the rest of my makeup on and I am obsessed with how my skin is looking. So I use a tiny little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and a little bit of concealer on my nose. I use a Pat McGrath concealer. I powder down with our Velvet Finishing Powder. I've got bronzer, I've got blush and I just, it, it really, like my skin really does look so nice. Didn't find that there was any issues with blending products on top of it. And it just, and even on my forehead, like the last couple of foundations that I've tried have definitely emphasized like my fine lines on my forehead. And this looks as smooth as anything. No settling into fine lines. My pores still look really minimized and blurred. I'm really happy with how this is looking. Here's a little close up look at my skin. It just, Honestly, you guys, it looks so nice. It's definitely, I mean, you can probably tell very easily on camera. Pores are larger and you can see more texture on this portion of my face than on this cheek here. I've got a mattifying and a smoothing primer on this side. So again, expected. But I do think that if you are somebody who doesn't like to use primers um, in particular or, you know, for whatever reason, you can still, like, it, it still does do a really good job at blurring the skin and minimizing texture uh, without a primer as well. Um, look how smooth it looks on my forehead. It's, like, insanely smooth. I'm obsessed with this. I'm, I'm honestly obsessed with this. So you'll next see me in about six hours. I'll wear this for six hours and we'll see what it is looking like then. So we are back with our first check-in. It's been six hours since I initially applied this foundation now. Overall, I feel like things are going pretty well. The first thing that I'm seeing that I am most surprised about is it's still not emphasizing any of the fine lines on my forehead. Like honestly, I swear the last five foundations that I have tested have definitely emphasized those fine lines and you literally like, it's like I don't have any fine lines on my forehead. So I mean, I am loving this. Also hasn't settled into my smile lines around my mouth or anything like, it is looking very, very smooth. I do still feel like it is looking quite airbrushed as well. Uh, the only thing that I'm sort of picking up on now is maybe a little bit of caking around my jawline. It's not terrible, like it's not like the worst that I've ever seen, but I just feel like there might be a little bit of texture sort of just around the jawline down there. Overall, shine control is pretty good. Like I'm definitely hardly shiny at all, which we love to see. It's still a lot smoother and sort of a lot more flawless on this side where we've got the primer. But at the same time, I still think that this side looks like freaking phenomenal. Like just honestly, this foundation so far, not too bad. I'm not gonna say, Mm, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's zoom in. So here is my skin up close. It just, it looks very glowy. It looks very flawless. It looks very smooth, but without really feeling 
heavy on the skin or anything. I don't think that it feels quite as lightweight as the Clinique Serum Foundation, which was the last one that we did a review and wear test on, but it's, it really is beautiful on the skin. Like it's just really only sort of around my jaw that I'm seeing maybe the smallest, like little bit of caking. Just the tiniest bit, like it's, it's, I'm being picky. I'm looking for things to pick on. Um, and they're really the only things that I'm seeing. So yeah, six hours, we are looking good. I will be back in another six hours for the final, final check-in. And like, seriously, if it's looking this good, we got ourselves a winner. So we are back with our final check-in for this foundation. And I have to tell you, I am happy with the results. I'm excited. So, you know how I told you guys a little bit earlier that I was starting to see a little bit of caking around my chin? I mean, it's still there, but... It hasn't really progressed. It's not really gotten any worse. And really, like I said, I I was just looking for something to pick on. It's the only thing that I can give you that has gone weird with this foundation. Everywhere else on my face, I am like a glowy, airbrushed dream. Like I have nothing else to complain about. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely oilier on this side. As you can see on the side of my nose here, there's a fair bit of shine. This side where I don't have a primer in comparison to this side, it's a little shiny, but it's definitely not anywhere near as bad. It just looks so smoothed, so blurred, so airbrushed, so pretty. It's a very sort of like perfecting kind of a foundation. I'm definitely getting glowy vibes and I'm definitely getting like ambient lighting hourglass vibes. Like for sure. The hourglass ambient lighting powders, I used to be obsessed with them. The dim light one just gave the skin this beautiful like soft focus blurred effect. That is exactly what this foundation does to the skin. And it is gorgeous. Here is a nice little close up. See what I mean around my chin here? Um, you know, there's just a little bit of texture, a tiny little bit of caking happening. I don't actually have any separation, but it is starting to look a little bit worse for wear down here. Forehead is still impeccably smooth. Like what? My forehead never looks that smooth. Like honestly. And like, I have like this persistent, like two of these persistent fine lines up here. Hasn't settled in either of those and hasn't emphasized either of those. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely shiny. Um, certainly, like I said, more so on the side where I don't have the primer. But the foundation has held up really well despite the oils coming through. Like there's no caking, there's no separation. It is starting to feel a little bit heavy on the skin. Like I can definitely tell that I'm wearing, you know, a foundation. It's not as lightweight as some of the serum foundations that I have tried recently, but at the same time, like I'm not complaining. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like suffocating or anything. I feel like this makes my skin look absolutely beautiful. As always, I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on the results of this one. What do you think it looks like on my skin? Do you think that my skin looks really blurred and poreless? Have you tried this foundation? What did you think of the formula? And also, if you're gonna let us know how, you know, your experience with it and how you went with it, please let us know your skin type as well. Just it helps other people out, you know, who are trying to make purchasing decisions. Um, it's always handy to know skin type as well. But as a first impression, I really, really like this. And I'm just feeling like a little bit like, I feel like every foundation that I have tested in the last three months, Four months, I've really, really enjoyed. I think what I need to do is a roundup of all the foundations that I've tested recently, put them all in a video and kind of rank them for you so that you can actually, um, I don't know, you can figure out which ones are kind of like the best of the best. But yeah, first impression, I just think this is beautiful. Hourglass has nailed it with this formula and I don't think that you'll be disappointed if you do invest money in this. I will keep testing it. I will keep updating you guys, but yeah, first impressions, I like this a lot and I will absolutely be continuing to wear it. And thank goodness too, because it cost me a lot in shipping to get it here. <laughs> but I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. Let me know what foundation you want to see reviewed next. And I love you guys heaps. Have a great day and I'll catch you in my next video.